decides to trinket out of that. So uses the trinket before the touch of death, before the serenity coming in from Trill. But Sidu in a lot of trouble. He needs to be able to keep himself alive. He Link jumps <laughs> over, gets the spear Link totem off. That is his last line of defense besides his trinket. Again. Kondo cheap shot, he trinkets, blinks on top of him, and Poike. If Raikou can secure a sheep, Nixie's right on top of him, looking to deny it. Waz gets a sap on Min Poike out of the psychic scream. Alec three temp shields, he gets purged on it. They swap to Nixie with no trinket. Min Poike leaves the stun, but Nixie's in so much trouble. The smoke bomb gets dropped, he's out of line of sight. He barely stays alive. Min Poike manages to pull through and somehow keep this together. Now it's Method Black's turn to go. Kidney shot over on him and Poike into the full fear, under the full ring. And Alec in the ice block. The Master Bell comes in. Alex all alone. Fear DR still available. Look at that timing. Of the Evan Bolt and the MD. That's why that's what I was talking about in game one. Again. Kidney shot for a poly. They get the poly. Dizio's far away though. He could kind of get rooted by the flurry and gets caught to a cheap shot. Just gets deleted. Instantly from the arena. Maps are just completely tapped on mana. Janimals is almost about to go down. They have to kill Janimal in this next couple of seconds. A full hex from Absturge is going to punish the team of Super Frogs and find the kill.